Good morning from New York. I made it to my Airbnb last night. Pretty late, my flight got delayed in the sky. <laughs> we couldn't land for about like 30 minutes because the runway was full. Um, but yeah, I got into my Airbnb, super, super cute. Um, and because I didn't eat anything um, besides avocado on toast in the morning at like nine o'clock, I landed absolutely ravenous. So I went to Gloria's Kitchen on the recommendation of my hosts for my Airbnb and got the chicken curry roti, which was delicious. I am currently staying in a Caribbean neighborhood here in Brooklyn and it is so cute and so beautiful and there's lots of really good food and lots of really good restaurants. Um, but yeah, I really love my Airbnb. There's so many cute plants that I just want to just take home. It's uh, like this, this Airbnb is so cute. Um, but yeah, this morning it's currently eight o'clock in the morning and I'm going to head to the World Trade Center first, have a look there and then I might head to Everlane which is an ethical and sustainable clothing store and then try to hit up the Brooklyn Bridge and the High Line and then see kind of where else you know, New York City takes me. Um, but because it is so early in the morning on a Sunday, I think I spotted a cute little coffee shop down the street. So I might go there first and grab myself some coffee. It's like New York knows. I love me some Korean barbecue. I cannot tell you how many times I've been turned around by Nigel, my Siri, to get to the World Trade Center. But I think I'm finally on the right track. So hopefully I'll get there soon. <laughs> but at least I'm gonna probably get like 20 to 30,000 steps today. So that's nice. So I lost my uh, Metro card <laughs> and it cost $38 to go into the World Trade Center. So I'm not gonna go there because I lost my money for the metro, which sucks. Um, it only had 16 bucks on it, but I mean, now that I've lost it, it doesn't make sense for me to pay $38 to go to the World Trade Center when that's taking it out of like my spending money budget. So not going there and I'm super sweaty. So now I'm going to Everlane instead. So that's how my morning's going. Trade Center, the Oculus View, and I tried taking a selfie on the CSLR and it did not work out. So, but anyways, I got my um, new Metro card. I got, ooh, I got a new Metro card and 
all is good now. So I made it to the view that I wanted to see. This one is free, obviously. I'm really excited about that. It's beautiful in here and there's so many kids pushing around these baseball seats. And they're just these cute little Asian babies and I'm just dying. But also they have really nice stores in here like Dior, Roberto Coin, Cos, um, Long Jeans, Mont Blanc, Sam Edelman. They have a bunch of cool stores. It's awesome in here. Currently just finished getting out of Chinatown in Little Italy. Went to Everlane, didn't find anything. And then now my phone is dying. So I bought a charger and now I need to go back to the World Training Center and see if they have a plug so that I can charge my phone because I couldn't find a portable charger. Traveling by yourself is great. <laughs> apparently 10 miles according to my iPhone <laughs> counting my steps for me which is great but just saw the Brooklyn Bridge and I believe I don't know the other bridge that's next to it is called right now I think it's the Manhattan Bridge but I could be wrong <laughs> I could be really wrong but anyways I'm currently headed to Shake Shack because your girl is starving um, and now she's too dark for you to see so I'm gonna give me some food and I'll talk to you guys later. But traveling by myself, I'm learning a lot. I'm learning that I'm not that great at direction, which is fine. <laughs> and I'm also learning, I don't know. I feel like just learning how, like, that it's okay to do what I wanna do. And I am doing that. And so it's really cool and it's really awesome. So yeah, I highly, I highly recommend it. Granted, I've grown up going to New York every summer, so I'm familiar-ish. So I would say do it with a place that you've been to before. And that's all I gotta say. <laughs> so I was right, that is the Manhattan Bridge next to the Brooklyn Bridge. I just want, didn't want to be dumb <laughs> and say the wrong bridge in case it wasn't. In case I wasn't right, but I was. Because there's a sign. And I see that I'm right. This is a perfect spot. You can see both the Manhattan and the Brooklyn Bridge perfectly here. Then we're gonna go see a nice little skyline. So we have this beauty over here. And then, we have a place where we could have like a little picnic or something. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. And then across from this view, it's literally the best of both worlds. The beautiful Brooklyn Bridge, New York City, boats, and then this little nugget of joy. So nice. But this is insane. I cannot believe this view. Wow. So 
So I just got back to my Airbnb. It is currently 9.35. Puncture. Oh, you're not puncturing. You are not a great straw. I got the chicken shack, which is just a chicken burger and then fries plain and I got the lemon the lemonade ginger the strawberry ginger lemonade as my drink and it's good one thing I seem to have forgotten is napkins but anyways today was interesting getting lost trying to find the World Trade Center and realizing that I had found it earlier but then I wasn't really following my like I wasn't following Nigel that well um, who is my Siri and so that was a little bit difficult so I kind of walked around in circles for such a long time and because I just walked everywhere and then on that walk when I was walking in circles I had my Metro card in my pocket and I put my phone in my pocket and when I took my phone out my Metro card also came out and I lost it so I had to buy another one so I was like really nervous about that and then I found then I went back to the World Trade Center and then it was like $38 to go to the um, World Trade Center Observatory and I was like I just lost my Metro card and I have to buy a new one I'm not gonna do that so then I went to the Oculus World Trade Center, and that's that cool shaped um, skeletal type of building. And I was like, this is fine for me. Like being in there was insane, insane. And that was worth it for me and it was free. And then I bought my MetroCard because you can buy MetroCard because um, they're connected to a subway station. And then I went to Everlane, didn't find anything at Everlane. Um, at least they don't have every single thing in store they only have certain things which is fine and they only have like certain colors they don't have every single color and so i was like i'm just gonna try a couple stuff on that i think that these are my sizes in and when i tried them on this dress in particular it was very see-through and it was yellow and i was just like oh if i want to get this dress i'm gonna have to get under a dark color and which is fine, but I was like, I want to try something different, go for a light color. They only have light colors in store and they only have dark colors online. So it was good to try on some stuff and then kind of go from there. Um, and then I charged my phone several times, went and got lunch at Joe and the Juice, which was good. And then I went to the Brooklyn Bridge and the Manhattan Bridge and I just kind of sat there and took it all in. Um, yeah other than that it has been an interesting day I feel like I've learned a lot about myself that I can get lost easily that I'm a little bit stubborn and that's okay so tomorrow I think I'm just gonna try to relax and not try to do the most and just see what I can because it's tomorrow's my last full day and then Tuesday around like two o'clock I leave um, and then I land back in Denver around seven so yeah tomorrow should be a lot better in terms of just like relaxation mode and i feel like i've gotten familiar with the city a lot more since you know today was my first official first full day in the city so it's good right now i'm thinking i don't want to do this again in new york city i'd rather travel by myself to like a resort and chill at the beach and not have to walk around which, I mean, I don't have to walk around in New York, but I, I want to. So, I will see you guys tomorrow.